Hopefully he doesn't tell me that I should just do duathlon instead. <laughs> 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 so yeah, we go off on a run. Um, today's video mainly is going to be about the video analysis that we're going to be doing in the pool, uh, but we've got that booked for midday, so we're going to go off and do a bit of a run session, hopefully get some cool shots, um, and the session's probably going to be maybe 14, 15k, um, 10 by a k, and just tapping into like, sort of at Ironman pace and then above Ironman pace, so the evens are going to be maybe like 340, 345, odds are going to be like 4 minute Ks, just kind of like revving it up a little bit, 75 seconds sort of float in between, so nothing too crazy, um, but it's going to be hot, it's going to be sweaty, it's going to be glorious. I'm <laughs> really quite tired actually. Uh, that run took it out of me. The heat is just not good for ginger people. But I'm not complaining because I know next week when I'm back home it's going to be miserable weather and I'm going to wish I was still out here. So I'm feeling fantastic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just at, um, at the pool waiting for, I think it's Ben who's going to be doing some video analysis work and probably rip me a new one on my technique, so that would be fun. Um, but it's always, yeah, always good to get tips um, and see what we can improve on. My swim's obviously improved quite a lot in the last few years, but uh, now it's just at that point where you've got to make those micro adjustments and those smaller, more important things to, to keep progressing and keep improving. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Hopefully he doesn't tell me that I should just do duathlon instead. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. How are you? That's you, man. Good. Found a pool? Yep. Found a pool, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, I know you can swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll see. Yeah. But what I was going to say was, maybe what we can do is to maybe look at you, of course, get some video of you swimming in the water, yeah, cool. cameras and stuff, nice. but then have a look at you swimming a little bit faster. Yeah. Okay. Because that's probably more where you're going to get some kind yeah. of, I mean, you don't need to go to a basic swim lesson, I don't think. Sure. Gonna use this one to save the sun, yeah. And then we'll get better with the camera as well because the, the, the sun yeah. will be shining straight in over there. Yeah. The other thing is, is there anything you think you need to look at? Mm. I know you, you've got I'd a coach from coaching. Yeah, I mean, I say generally just like I mean, just important stuff like I just end up seeming to um, drop my elbow a little bit okay. when, I'm, when I'm swimming a bit harder. So, yeah, yeah, well, that, yeah, um, yeah. I think that's yeah. yeah, that's probably quite important. Yeah. And then maybe like just coming out of the stroke a bit too soon yeah. as well. Okay. So like is that when you're racing as well in the wetsuit? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the first time there. So yeah, I mean, so I think you're going to get more from a bit of a faster swim yeah, sure. than we are from that side and that, so it's good. So, do you ever get anything like tired? At, I know you're racing quite a lot. Do you get anything physically tired when you come out of the water? Um, just like really like out of breath, I guess. Like yeah. Really kind of, um, uh, it takes me maybe like five, 10 minutes on the bike to yeah. actually like settle so down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You much hypoxic for me? I really hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so probably, right, okay, uh, I'm done. Yeah. We're finished. <laughs> I don't yeah, even need to put the so camera much. in the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, when um, whenever I've done any like hypoxic stuff or underwater work, yeah. I pop up so much sooner than anyone else. Yeah, because okay, yes. Yeah. So that, that may be something to think about as well. Okay. And I think in there, like that, if if it's an issue, you come, um, you come in, you're you noticing it, especially at the start of the bike ride. Yeah. You should be starting to work a little bit on that. Like okay. so, so, so. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's think a bit. Cool. If you want to jump in and get a little bit yeah. of a warm up, nice. I'll grab the camera okay. and then we can have a look from there. Awesome, thanks cool. so much. No worries, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. It pulls like quick even shots. Yeah. Okay, we we'll two minutes. <laughs> So this, this is where you're going to get, and even a few few minutes of this is going to be a lot more than spending hours in the pool. Yeah, with, exactly. With the yeah. I've always tried to like bend my elbow more. It just feels really weird. It's, it's, it's perceived. So the problem is with you feeling your when you're reaching out here, yeah. you're feeling uh, that is like a strength. Yes. Yeah. Because it's like an overreach like that we've did, but. Now all of a sudden when you take away and you up your cadence or yeah. you change your cadence, it becomes easier. So you think yeah. you're not performing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's the same as running, you know, when people sprint or they're out of breath yeah. and they get in the swimming pool, they, got, they think they have to create that same yeah, feeling. Yeah, so, yeah exactly that, yeah. These bubbles as well. Yeah. They're not brilliant. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it means your foot's coming out of the water when you kick it. No, okay. It's not blue because it's dark blue, but I think it would be too bright. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with your stroke. Yeah. yeah. It's that one out there, you know. Like I said, she was. These clips now. Let's, let's start off with the first step under the water, like we see what we already know. Okay, so this is nice and steady. Yeah. The first ones you go through, pretty good. Nothing too bad. You know, we know you're coming through, your timing's good, okay? underneath the shoulder yeah. and the arms entering. Okay, so it's pretty good, not too bad. Coming through nice rotation, but there is this overreach yeah. there, okay? So you can see you've overreached a little bit, Yeah. okay? So then our elbow's lower than your shoulder, yeah. and so it's kind of flat, your hand should be down a little bit more. Okay. In that, so it should be more like a diagonal. And what's happening now is you're creating a little bit like a banana because you reached yeah. too far out. Okay, and then you you see the splay of your legs, you come quite wide. Yeah. Look at that foot. That's, that's actually looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but what we can't see from here is you actually like a curve, like a banana. Yeah. So that's actually slowing you down. <laughs> looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, you come through, you got that. So <laughs> this is why it's so important to see in the water, but you've got this huge banana in the fact that yeah. the wetsuit will hold you up more, yeah. but then it means you'll actually swim offline because okay. you'll, you'll lose a bit of balance in the water. Yeah. So you come through, so you're using that whole stroke there to pull you back up on top of the water. Yeah. Okay, you see the effort it is to push down to pull your body up. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, then you come back, nice streamlined position. If we saw another stroke, you would drop, yeah, drop again. back down with your right, hips. Okay. Steady swimming again, so we do it again, you see there, if no, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry if we go onto this one again, okay, same arm, comes through, good timing from the first arm, comes in, you drop down, overreach, yeah, okay, and then you can see your foot again. Your foot's going again. That's the balance, you know, so you're using that foot to keep your balance, but we got that curvature, yeah. and you start looking forward as well. Okay. Didn't, I didn't notice you were looking forward actually. So let's do it. And there we go, we got that stroke there. So we go through this time, we come through, yeah. dive the arm in, and it comes through in there, and then boom, yeah. the foot turns around. Mm. This is the fast one. <laughs> well, faster ones. <laughs> sure. So you can see now you're having to kick so hard yeah. to create the speed because of the off balance in your stroke. Yeah. Go back through again. So look, okay, one, two. Now your foot goes out of the water. 
Mm. <laughs> so, we're, <laughs> we're catching, so we're dragging the ear down, okay, which is actually help, not helping because it's kind of pulling you backwards. Okay. And that foot's completely gone out of water. Yeah. So you're, again, it's that perceived effort of that big kicking. Yeah. It's the feeling of your going forwards, whereas if you could keep it a little bit more flutter kicking, yeah, yeah. it would come in a little bit more. And there you go, Damn. that kick strike there to get it out of water. Yeah. So it's there, okay, and you can see all the bubbles around. It's not terrible, but <laughs> we're picking small details, but at the level you want to get to, yeah, exactly, it's these yeah. things are going to make a difference. Yeah. So this was the 100 metres. Yeah, that's a lot of splash, right? Yeah, so this, this is the one as well, which we're going to get probably the most information, like I said, yeah. because you're getting tired now. So you're coming yeah. in, it's the last 20 metres of your stroke, you come in, way overreach. Yeah, yeah. And you actually your head is looking quite far backwards. Yeah. Come in, dive down, down. Foot's out of the water. Yeah. Okay. Goes out. The other leg goes out as well. Damn. Okay. And again, here now, because you're swimming that much faster, we've got that much more curvature of your body as well. Yeah. Really coming through. In. And there's that big kick. <laughs> it's not just the foot, it's like. It's like It's coming up. And that's it. But we, you know, you don't, you don't notice this so much until we get the camera work afterwards. We didn't really notice when we were doing it, so. This is with a higher tempo, you see? Yeah. Okay, so now, for me, that's a much better swimming stroke. It's a bit dark, hands, one hand's chill closed and one hand's open. Definitely looks smoother. Yeah. I think, yeah. And now you're swimming. So look, it's, the difference in the stroke is huge. So you can watch that again. So you've got one hand open, one hand closed. Yeah. Can you see with the reflection on? Yeah, cool. So it's much more balanced in the stroke. We've got a little bit there. But it's not coming out of water, that's just shadow. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming in. That's a much better stroke. Let's just move away from the camera. <laughs> See, that's why I wanted to show you all. Yeah. <laughs> it should kind of be like bubbles. Okay. If you're doing a 50 meter all out sprint, yes, you will be creating that much splash. Yeah. But for the effort we were doing here, this should not be. Swim, yeah. yeah. Reach, comes over. Yeah, you, you were talking about the exit of your hand. Yeah. You come very close to your body really where you ex loot. Yeah. Okay, so you're coming in and you're basically catching. So it should just be a little bit further out okay. on that part. Yeah. And then you come through and this one pulls actually out. Uh, okay. Overreach there a little Definitely bit. Overreach. And you can see it start to look behind as well. That's a key for when you start okay. to overreach, you'll start looking in the wrong direction a bit. Okay. So you come through. Leg at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is again, okay? <laughs> okay, so a little bit overreach. And there, there's the other leg there as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's one thing, to be honest with you, swimming you should never see is okay. the legs from behind. Because right. you should kind of be like a tube. Yeah. And it okay. should fit in that tube. So if, you're, if we're seeing legs at the back of your stroke, then you're creating drag. Yeah. It's there, you know, you okay. can see. Yeah. Okay, and then we come around, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a few things, small things to think about here. We come in, okay. The head's quite high when you come in from breathing, but yeah. stuff there, but there's that hand. That's really point. close. So that's what you're feeling again. You're probably pushing back far enough, but the hand's not quite in the right place. Yeah. So it's there like that. So there's a few small details. Yeah. All right. Damn. Rhythm of your stroke at the front, the catch. Yeah. Okay, coming through. You, we definitely benefited from yeah, one yeah, hand open, one hand closed, and the fist from in. Yeah. Now, like I said to you in the pool, I think it's really important if you did that in your warm up and your warm down. Yeah. Just something in there. If you've got 400 swim, yeah. 25 yeah. mixing up a bit yeah. and trying to breathe bilaterally. Yeah. Because the balance we're seeing in the kick at the back is mm -hmm. because you're only breathing to one side. Yeah. So yeah. we're getting that splay yeah. of the legs at the back in there. So I think that's the two key things. Yes. Yeah. Breathing by that tree, mm -hmm. be a bit more conscious of that, yeah. and then that cadence with your arms at the front. To be honest, you coming up to a race which you're coming up to now, I would consciously try to think about it when you're swimming, but don't yeah. stress about it too okay. much. Yeah. But then with, with the time, yeah, that's spend really some time working on it before Christmas or something like that. You you should really start to work on this okay. because there's 
seconds here. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Yeah. You know, over 100 meters is definitely time right. to be picked up. Okay, so yeah, that's a big chunk. If you think about picking up over 100 meters, how much it yeah. picks up over yeah. the rest of the swim for you? Massive. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So I think, uh, should we air drop these to you? That would be amazing. Hi. Um, yeah, just been working with Harry now to do some swimming analysis. Uh, my name is Ben. I work in the sports performance studio at Club Santa. Um, working with athletes from all levels, from professionals down to the general public, which we get at the hotel. Um, bike fitting, running, swimming analysis, and also organising the training camps, which happen at Club Santa. Again, swimming, cycling, running, and triathlon-based stuff. Um, I think as we just brushed on briefly, I've been at this place for ever, <laughs> which is about 12 years I think this time. I have a bit of a history with the hotel from before that time. Um, but yeah, I think it's probably the best playground you can have for sports in general. And of course we have a huge triathlon following here for, for everybody, for all of Northern Europe. And we start to get a big catchment now from USA. So I think yeah, it's the place to be if you want to come train in the sun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was very good, and I need to work on my swimming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you were going to get pulled apart. Do you feel like you've been pulled apart? No. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> There's things to work on. I mean, I didn't think I looked that bad in the water. So um, yeah. There's stuff to work on, that's for sure. But yeah, I appreciate it, Ben. No Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. And uh, yeah, back to work. <laughs> back to bed. Back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>